Hey guys, it's Emma here. Welcome back to Emma Chandra. This is my very first, like, um, I guess, informal, normal video, not vlog, I guess, because the first video I did was a vlog of me at the Ariana Grande concert. So today on the show, because this is a bit of a fashion channel, I thought I'd show you what is a Disney bound. So anyone who isn't in the Disney fandom will probably be very c confused with this. Um, it's basically um, an outfit that you put together inspired, I've got a Mickey over there, by the way, inspired by a Disney character, so, um, but you, you don't use, um, like, it's not really a costume, it's more like clothes you would wear on a normal basis, like, for example, um, excuse me, um, like, this white shirt I wear on a regular basis, and jeans I wear on a regular basis, so, um, but it's inspired by the, this character, if that's making any sense. Um, <laughs> this one in particular is Cinderella, do you see it? Do you see it? I don't know, I'll, let me explain it a little. So, of course, and the way I've done it, I don't know, I guess different people do it different ways. Like, I try to match up, like, the colors in the where they would appear on the character. For So, we'll use Mickey Mouse as an example, because I have a Mickey Mouse plushie right here. So, um, if I was going to do Mickey, I'd probably wear, like, a black long sleeve shirt, red shorts, and maybe black. I don't know. I guess I'd probably wear a black t-shirt and red shorts, and maybe yellow shoes done, right? Easy. He's probably one of the easiest ones to do. So I would try, I wouldn't necessarily do like a red shirt with um, black pants and like a gold hat. You could if you want, but like I wouldn't necessarily do it that way. That's just the way I'm doing it. But we're just going to move around so I can show you, explain the Cinderella Disney Bound. So this is more of the 2015 um, movie Disney Bound kind of. Um, excuse me. Um, sorry, guys. Sorry if the lighting is... is, is kind of weird in here. I'm kind of filming at a weird time, like late at night. So sorry. I apologize for that. Um, I know this isn't the best way to show clothes, but I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> so, so I've got this blue cardigan because obviously Cinderella is all about the blue. And let me just move. So the reason I say this is more like 2015 movie Cinderella is because they're of the butterfly necklace. I had to incorporate the butterflies. So I put the butterfly necklace and like all the little Cinderella, I remember in this movie had a bunch of floral patterns all over her dress. So I tried to I guess m imitate that with the floral sleeves. So you could just wear it without a cardigan and wear like blue pants. Actually, I have some blue pants. I didn't pull them out. So you could just throw on some blue pants and make that your Cinderella inspired outfit. But, um, they, or you could re wear a white dress. Um, that's cool. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, so I've got, also got gold shoes just to finish it off because I thought that was kind of kind of went along with it. So, and then the next one I have over here is this Merida Disney bound. Now, Merida is a little bit harder to do. In a perfect world, um, I probably would have done it with a green dress. And this t-shirt would have not have been orange. Like, I was trying to get, like, Merida's hair color, like, hair color incorporated in it somehow. But, and I also realized I don't have a yellow or gold shirt. So, what I would have liked to do with this was to have, like, an orange hair bow or something and, like, put that in. And then have like a gold-ish colored shirt underneath this, um, uh, what do you call this? Like army jacket type idea. So that's what I originally was going to do, but I didn't have a gold shirt because I don't really wear gold. So <laughs> that's what I did. So, and then I've got black jeans and combat boots because Merit is kind of like a, a bit of an edgier, like, likes to get dirty and run around princess. I don't know. So yeah, these are my Disney bounds, guys. Um, so I hope... Oh, I also have this shirt. I didn't know what to put it with, but like it's like a silk cap. I thought that would be awesome for Maleficent if you had like purple jeans or something. And then I also had this little blue skirt over here that I was gonna do like a bell type inspired one, but I couldn't. But I couldn't find a white shirt to put it. At least I guess you could see. It doesn't really go, but yeah. So I hope this clarifies what Disney Bound is. Like, if anyone has any questions about Disney Bounding, and I guess the idea. Well, the idea is um, to do it at the Disney parks. Um, a lot of people do it there because obviously you can't dress up if you're not a kid, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Um, <laughs> but, of course, on Mickey's Halloween party you can do it. But, like, this is just a way for, I guess, you to be, I don't know, inspired by a Disney character without wearing a full-on costume, which I know some people also aren't comfortable wearing a full-on costume. So it's a great alternative in that sense. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys will try out Disney Bounding at some point. Thank you guys so much for watching Emma Enchanted. And bye!